Hi guys, uh, as promised I've been out in the workshop again, doing a bit of work on some of my bits and pieces, namely a sheath for the longbow. So now I've got a little paracord lanyard, a little skull on there, blood red and black to go with me red and black liners, and we've got a nice leather sheath. It's been wet moulded, block stitching, it's got a loop, a belt carry and a D-ring that flops out the way on belt carry, but that can be rolled up to use with a dangler. My fits in nicely. Not bad retention. You probably could shake it out if you really tried hard, but the idea is it's carried that way up, yeah. So. Didn't go quite perfect, I got, I don't know if you can see it on here, there's a few little marks on the leather. I was a bit upset about that. And originally, it was going to have a high back on this side. But when I cut the leather out, I put the template on the wrong side, and I cut it out left-handed. So, I've trimmed it down both sides, it's now ambidextrous. No, it's not really, because of the belt loop. But, uh, yeah, it hasn't come out too bad. It's the first leather sheath I've, I've made, really. I've made some little ones just to put a knife in, but not really any good for carrying it. For use it's the first user I've made, so I'm quite happy. I think it's turned out okay. Let me know what you, think, what you think about it guys, put your comments down here. Uh, a couple of shout outs. Uh, Jason over at Foxwood, lovely to hear from him my mate. Um, Adam, Knee Deep Knives, get well soon mate. He's, he's a bit poorly, if you don't know Adam, go and check out his channel, Knee Deep Knives. Um, he's a sound lad, doing some really good stuff and he's poorly at the moment, so uh, leave him a message, cheer him up. Uh, that's it for now. It's half an hour, guys.